This is a poem which I literally stumbled on, one of the things I stumbled on. Uh, and um, it's called The Young Poet. And I just, you know, I read through his collected poems for this book and came up with this one poem, Portrait of a Young Poet. He loves himself, the pain within, and in another person, pain's reflection, his. In the murder, this actually goes back to the, the Levinas in a certain sense, but in a much more perverted way, <laughs> perverse way. He loves himself, the pain within, and in another person, pain's reflection is. In the murderous hot summer wind, he drills of his own free will, and in a fevered soul descends, emerging with the poem. His speech is not tucked in, as though he were negating a rule. His mouth moves and doesn't move. He will not notice if the listener's listening, but the poem within him stirs, the song of a man he'll never know, glowing so, and so sublime, and oh so ironic. He sends words out to grope along the paths of the imagination, of one who treads out to the woods and then gets lost within its thicket. The words, too, are lost there, although the echo of an omen returning from the forest <coughs> reaches him and the poem. Between poem and poem, between the village and the town, he walks stealthily and forgets almost entirely the world. And so he lives, who loved solitude alone and the hot summer wind who loves himself, the flame within, and happiness in him is waking.